Hey guys and welcome back to Majeffrey's Plays FIFA 13 as Barnet. So, we lost the first pre-season 2-0. Very disappointed in that, I really wanted to win that game. Um, saw a few good signs during the match, a couple of attacking options there, a couple of uh, striker-cam combinations, but yeah. One area which <coughs> I did notice I needed to improve on was the goalkeeper. So Galatha has joined, replacing Graham Stack, who, as you know from the last video, spilled a shot that he should have easily saved, really. And that cost us the first goal. So yes, Galatha is coming in. He will be my first choice keeper for the foreseeable future. Um, I feel a lot more confident in my defence now since I've signed... Uh, Virtually a new back four. In fact, I think it's completely a new back four now from the one that I originally had, plus a new goalkeeper as well. So I'm happy with the defence. Uh, what I'll be focusing on in later videos, starting from this video, is sort of midfield and attacking options now. Um, trying to come up with different combinations of players, trying to come up with different styles of play. So yeah, Dejan Kelar. You might have seen a couple of Kelhar, sorry. You might have seen a couple of videos ago, uh, I actually started signing him without really mentioning him much, as the same for Tobogo Langerman. Um, set good centre-back and a good left-back have joined, and Steve Cabber, I wanted to get rid of him, he's 31 years old, he's way too old for my for my team, for my style of play. Um, I like to keep, as I said before in the first video, I like to keep players under the age of, sort of 25, 26. Um, I mainly focus on buying players around 18, 19, 20 years old, maybe 21 at a push. Because um, I like to buy players who I think can last in the team for a long time, like four or five years at least. So to spend big money on someone like a 28 year old doesn't really suit me. Um, you've seen I have signed a couple of 26, 27, 28 year olds in this game, but they've all been on free transfers, so it's not like money's been wasted on them. Um, they're good players, they're brought in to do a job, and that's as far as I see it really. Um, so yeah, going back to the loan list. This is where I decided that my midfield could do with a, a bit of improvement. Seeing in that first game I had some really slow wingers, which they really are the bane of my life. I like quick wingers who can beat their man. I don't like slow wingers who get caught by centre-backs. And, you know, I mean, I don't mind a wing-back catching my wide midfielders because, you know, wing-backs can be just as fast as wingers. But centre-backs, for me, tend to be, they're there to be strong and not to be fast. So if they're catching your wingers, then you've got slow wingers. So uh, first thing I do is find Thomas Slav Gomelt. And then I also see Jack Grealish on the list, who I have signed before in one of my career modes. And uh, I thought he was a really good young player. He's 16 years old and he's rated 64, which, to me, that's... That is perfect. That's exactly the kind of player that I want. So the first thing I do is put in a bid for him. Um, if I do, well, you'll see soon. I do manage to sign Grealish, um, and I think I improved the right hand side of the midfield as well. If I don't keep Marsh Brown, we'll find out later on in the series whether that happens or not. Um, but after all this has happened, I feel a lot more confident with my midfield as well, and I can start focusing on other areas of my team once again, um, such as the centre of midfield because. As much as I like Curtis Weston, I didn't think he was quite doing the right job for me in that first game. He sort of he felt a bit clunky and a bit wasn't really engaging with the striker as well as he, as he should have. So uh, I decided that that needed improving as well. In the meantime, we have a bid for John Oster. Again, you see his age, 33. I, I wanted to keep Oster, but the fact that Shrewsbury were offering money for a 33-year-old suggested that maybe it was time for him to move on. Um, so yeah, I can I can use the money from Oster on uh, signing some younger, faster players who can actually score goals, create goals, and prevent goals for me. Um, you can see Cabra and Oster are both be on their way. Gamelt and Grealish are on their way in. Um, I feel like once I've got those two players in, my team is virtually. I can start a season with it. I don't necessarily have to go through the, the uh, transfer lists again looking for improvement. You know, I've got Edgar Davids in midfield. He is the captain. He's the leader. He's got a good rating. He is getting on a bit in terms of age. But, I mean, the guy's a legend. You can't really get rid of him, can you? So, uh, 
We're just starting a game here, but you won't see what happens, unfortunately, until the next time. So until then, see you soon.